everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Keisha and this is Beauty and Comfort. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys the fourth soap in our holidays collection. This soap, I'm gonna be calling it something along Winter Wonderland. I thought about all things that I love when I think of winter. I think of snow banks and frozen lakes. So that's where this is going. In my main pot here, I have my oils and I'll have the list of the oils in the description box below. And these are at room temperature. They're a little cloudy. They're about between 75 and 80 degrees. And so is my lie. So this is all ready to go. Now let's talk about the colors we're gonna be doing today. I decided to go with two soft tones of blue and then one deeper tone of blue and also some white. So I have my titanium dioxide that I've already dispersed here in water. I have ultramarine, ultramarine blue, which I've also already dispersed in water. And since I'm only using a little bit of this to give me some depth, that's why we're only just using a little bit, bit about like a half a teaspoon. And I dispersed this in some warm water. This shade here is my deeper of the light blues. And this one is preppy blue. And this is Aphrodite blue. All these shades are from Mad Micah's. And in my main bucket is where my titanium dioxide is going to play in. In my light solution, I've already dissolved my Tussa Silk Fibers as well as my Sodium Lactate. It's already in there. And then for additives, I'm going to be using Buttermilk Powder and White Kaolin Clay. So let's get some gloves on so we can be ready to go. All right, so I have my tablespoon measure here. Ugh. Put that cap on tired than I thought. And I'm going to take one tablespoon, one generous tablespoon of kaolin clay and I'm going to do the same amount of my buttermilk powder and let's get these out the way alrighty I got my hand mixer let's get plugged in give it the power and as always I'm going to take the stick blender I'm going to put it on top and I'm going to put that in there and give it a shimmy and do the same thing over here just try to get that underneath the top layer here and I'm gonna give this a good blitz. For about 30 seconds to a minute and get this all blended in. Alrighty, now that my additives are nicely incorporated and we have one nice consistent color, as always, take your spatula, give a nice swirl around the base, make sure there's nothing caked on the bottom. Always check for bubbles and, and little nuggets of unincorporated powders. All right, so final swirl, burp the baby, and tilt that puppy to the side. Now we're gonna take my fly solution. Let's get to, mm, let's just go to emulsion at this point. Today, I'm gonna to be using this fragrance here from Nurture Soap. This is Sparkling Citrus in Snow. I love this idea of this fragrance for this particular design because I feel like it's a nice crisp fragrance and it just really put me in the idea of a nice winter vibe. So that's what we're gonna be using today. It has no vanillin in it and it has a light tan discoloration and no acceleration. That's what it says here on the bottle. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in and hope for the best. I'm just gonna swirl as I pour. And we're gonna hand stir this in. And right here, we'll go ahead and put the fragrance notes from the website. So you guys know what it smells like. It's such a nice fragrance. It's 
It says it has a citrus notes, which is a very nice citrus moment there. It's kind of an orange vibe for me. All right, so now that's blended, let's bring in our colors. And this soap will be mostly the blues here with a little hint of this ultramarine. Let's start pouring. We're gonna do more in here, obviously. But I want there to be more of this lighter blue shade. So I'm gonna do a little bit more than that one. And a little hint of that. Cause we're not using a whole lot of the ultramarine. So I'm gonna start with my lightest colors first, which will be the Aphrodite. And I'm just gonna give it a nice blend. I want this to have a real icy moment. That is so pretty. I have so many ideas when it came to the winter collection. Like, I love fall. Winter's like my second season of preference, followed by spring and summer. As this time of year got closer and closer and I had to start preparing, I really just had a lot of ideas. A lot, a lot, a lot of ideas. And so I'm breaking some of my holiday, my winter thoughts, should I say, are being broken up over the entirety of winter. Oh, those two are gonna be beautiful together. And then my little spaculine of ultramarine blue. I'm gonna swirl that in a little bit. And this is gonna be like the depth color. See that? So pretty. These three colors together say frosty moment. So I'm gonna scooch these over back to the side, bring in my main pot and get my titanium dioxide in here. And I don't have as much of this batter left as I do, as I was intending. So I'm pretty sure I won't need all of that. Let's give this a nice gentle blitzing. I don't want this to turn tan, honestly. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all of this titanium dioxide and hope that that helps me keep this white, white. So that's done. I'm gonna get a larger container because I'm gonna do an in the pot swirl of the blues with a little bit of the white. And we're also gonna do a bank of white as well. And I'm thinking about adding another component. Give me a second. So I've decided to take the Aphrodite and I'm gonna pour about a quarter of this in here. And I'm gonna add my titanium dioxide to it. And we're gonna lighten this up. I'm just gonna use my little spoon here. I like that. Isn't that pretty? Now let's grab our mold and our bigger vessel so we can do our in the pot swirl. All right, so I have my mold here. I'm gonna take my cap. I'm gonna prop this up a little bit. I wanna prop it to the side. So let's get rid of this blender here. And we're gonna pour a very nice little layer right in this far corner. Just a little bit. I want that to have some texture too. I'm done with the white for now, so I'm gonna move him out the way. Tamp out the bubbles. And I'm gonna slide him over here and I'm gonna let that set up for a second. Now I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna in the pot swirl these blues. scrape this out because I might end up putting some more on top. We'll see. The last little bit of you. And I'm going to scrape him out because he's more of an accent color. We're done with the ultramarine and we're also going to be done with this light and version of the Aphrodite as well. So 
So I have my lightest and my darkest accent colors completely in the bucket. And I'm gonna do the same thing. This color and this color. I'm not scraping these completely because I might use these for like a little bit of something here in a second. I'm not gonna mess with this at all. I'm gonna leave it as is. We're gonna check on our white. It's pretty much set. I wanna have a little teeny, teeny bit of texture for this. So I'm gonna grab a spoon. Actually, let's just grab a chopstick. I think that'll give me what I want. We'll see. And I'm just gonna really lightly push this out as much as I can and then push this up as much as I can. I'm gonna pick this mold up so you guys can see the little bit of texture that we established in there. Just a little bit, not too, too much. So I wanna give that glistened on the water effect on my snow. So I'm going to take some Sparkle Me, my Fairy Dust Sparkle Me Blue, and I'm gonna shoot this right at the edge of the snow bank. And this is relatively set, he's not moving. I'm gonna start from the opposite side of my snowbank and pouring it really slowly. Just put that right on there. Right in there. Snap it at this point. Take my spatula and fill him up. A little bit of jiggling action here. Just want to get that going. Okay. That's done. I'm gonna let that set up and settle for a second. And I'm gonna hit the top with some more Sparkle Me Blue. Just a little something, something on the top. Looking good. Now I'm gonna clean up my mold. So now that the mold is cleaned up, we're gonna let this sit up for just a little bit here, maybe like five minutes, so that he can handle the weight of the frosting and we'll be right back. While I'm waiting for my frosting to set up, let's talk about the embeds we're gonna be playing with today. This is gorgeous. So I found some really beautiful snowflake molds. These I found on um, Amazon and I thought they were absolutely stinkaluciously beautiful. So here's a close up of some of them. They're very detailed and very gorgeous. I'm gonna toss these around in some colorant and give them a little bit of something to play on all those details. And when everything is set up, we'll get to frosting. Okay guys, the wait is over. So I've already put my frosting in a piping bag and I'm using a circle tip, just a large circle tip, nothing fancy, smancy. And I want this to look like a mound of snow. So we're not going for something that's perfect, but I do wanna make sure this entire first layer is covered and then we'll play from there. And then we'll start strategically placing in our snowflakes and hitting it with some sparkle. So I picked up the Amy Winehouse Blue and Sparkle Me Plenty. And I'm gonna continue using the Sparkle Me Blue Fairy Duster as well. So those will be my finishing moves. I want this to be kind of a loose consistency. I don't want it to be too, too tight and too, too firm because of the fact that we are putting on the embeds and we want everybody to have a home. You know what I mean? And I don't want this to be like ultra perfect looking because I want to like a mound of snow. So I'm kind of doing it at an angle so that my peaks aren't necessarily facing straight up. If you wanna do a snow mound vibe, I would say it'd be kinda of cool to do like a larger circle tip than the one I'm using would be cool too. Another idea, instead of doing single little dots, you can do a little row moment here and kind of fill up that bottom layer. I can do a couple of different options. And a mound of snow isn't perfect rows, you know? So it doesn't have to be perfect. Little cloud-like dollops. And then with the excess, I'm just gonna make it like it's a double situation. All right, perfect. So before I start with the embeds, I'm gonna start with Sparkle Me Plenty because I wanna give my frosting a little bit of shimmer. 
And as usual, my gloves are inhibiting my progress. So I'm gonna take them off. Ugh, they're more pain than they're worth sometimes. But in all seriousness, always wear your gloves, save your fingers. But I'm not using my fingers for what I'm gonna do right now. I just need to get this packet open. There we go. Now, with my handy dandy paintbrush, I'm just gonna hit it with some sparkles. If you're not familiar with sparkles, just know that they go everywhere. You feel like a fairy. Isn't that free? All right, I'm not done with this. We're just gonna get them out the way. And we're gonna start placing our embeds. And I have my markings on this side. So I'm just gonna start putting these on. Those are looking like so far. They're all nice and scattered on. And now, to adorn them a little bit more, I'm just gonna start taking the smaller ones and sort of laying them out like this. Make sure you have a little bit of snowflake everywhere. And these are such beautiful designs, I don't want to miss out on showing them off. And you can throw these on here however you want. I just wanna make sure that everybody can see all the pretty different shapes. I mean, some of them are like star shaped, some of them are circular, hexagon shaped. There were just so many options that I was like, Ugh, I'm in love. Now these two whites are obviously gonna be a stark difference because the white that I'm using for the embeds is white melt and pour, while this is a colored batter. It's obviously not gonna be perfect, the right shade but I think it's gonna work guys memory serves me bright I think I made more white ones than I made blue ones now I'm gonna stop I'm gonna pick up my sparkle me plenty and give it a hit at an angle like this so I'm mostly hitting the front of the embeds that are standing and kind of putting a little glitz and glam on top Then I'm gonna pick up my blue glitter because I wanna bring the icy blue colors from the inside to the top. Come on. Five minutes later. I need to ask my husband to open this. Be right back. Yay! I got open. Okay, I'm back. And it's open. And I'm not gonna use as much of this as I did the white. Just want a little something, something. This is a whole lot easier to see because <laughs> it's blue on a white base. Stand it up over there, turn it around, and use the same tapping technique to get this set too. Go back to the Sparkle Me Plenty glitter, and I'm going to really load it up now because I kind of want this to sit on top of the blue as well. I want it to have that dimension, girls, dimension. Just like I do with my eyeshadow. <laughs> layer it, honey, layer it. Now this might look super duper packed on, which I hear a lot of people comment about in other soap videos that I watch. It's like you put so much on, it looks so cluttered, but you have to envision the individual bars, not just the entire loaf. So like the entire loaf might look loaded to capacity, but when you slice the bars, you might end up with only like three snowflakes on each bar. So it's kind of what I'm looking at when I'm placing to try to make sure that I kind of have a little bit of something on all sides as well as a little bit of something going on for each bar. So, I think before I get too overzealous, I'm gonna stop right here and we're gonna hit this with some good old alcohol. Oh look, one got away. <laughs> Where will you go? Right there. <laughs> okay, now let's hit it with some alcohol to lock in all that glitter and bring everybody to life. And as you can see, we have a little bit of white, a little bit of blue all over the place. Purdy. 
Now, we're gonna put this bad boy to bed. We will see him in 18 to 24 hours and we'll be back to see you guys for the cut. See you then. Alrighty, so we're in the multi-bar cutter and I'm going to try to get this lined up as best as I can so that each bar will get one of the larger snowflakes. So that looks all lined up nice and pretty. Now I'm going to press down nice and firmly using that core. Uh, uh. Woo! These are my end pieces. Really pretty. Now let's get into the middle. I'm gonna pick one up right from the middle. Slide him up. And isn't that gorgeous? As you can see, we were able to get a nice pretty embed for each soap here. And once these are cleaned up, they're gonna be amazing. I love that. Let's keep going. Starting from the front, we have this one. And this snowflake embed is so pretty. And the smell is coming through really, really well. It did morph a little bit during the curing process, but that happens sometimes where you have a fragrance that smells one way in the bottle and then smells another way immediately following the curing. And then it'll morph back to the way that it smells in the bottle. And sometimes a little bit more toned down or a softer version, but this is looking beautiful. I can't wait to do this one in a cupcake. I think the cupcake is gonna be absolutely beautiful. And let's split this one open. Now this has been in the mold for over 24 hours and it's still relatively soft, which is a good thing when you're cutting. Nope. Uh-oh, <laughs> man down. This will be a part of our holiday collection, which will be available in December, the first month in December, which will be the 7th. And just a reminder, we're still gonna be doing our holiday giveaway. So all month long, all the way up to the end of the year, the comment of the week will receive a free bar of soap of their choice. That does include any of our cupcakes as well. To be eligible to receive one of the soaps in the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to this channel, leave a like and a comment. If your comment is selected, which we'll be selecting at random, you will then be contacted by me and we'll get some information so that we can send you your bar. And that is the last one. Oh, I'm so happy with how this turned out. If you wanna get your hands on this bar, again, it'll be available at our website at beautyandcomfort.com on December the 7th. Until the next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.